Early last year, the government moved to demolish some homes at Caneview Avenue, Moca, East Bank Damararo. The reason was that the homes are in the path of the road. The road has been constructed and in support of what the residents argued, the homes are far from the road. And there we see clearly the road wasn't passing here. These people are never in the path of the road. That is Member of Parliament Nima Flubes. There is a report that the government is now allowing new constructions at the site of the demolition. A commentator said that this is a glaring inconsistency. On the 5th of January, 2023, the government along with police came in, broke our homes, run over with stuff, trampled on everything, took our livelihoods. When I saw the excavator, bulldoze, chevron shop, I felt empty inside. That was one of the victims of the demolition. She said that during the demolition, she went into her home and refused to leave. But while passing on this road, there are structures going up, buildings going up, way closer to the road than we were living. Are, are these things that I had that is true up to now, that thing then. We still don't have a line paying rent. They've been my family, even a stranger. When people get fed up, I don't move about three times every week. Member of Parliament Corata MacDonald said that there was more to the demolition. It was the destruction of every piece of item that was in some of those homes. Every case of beverage that was from the wholesale dealer was destroyed by the young man who was operating the machine. And, and, and the, the obstruction that was going to be had if the residents here had continued to live here. But if you look the distance that we are from the road, I don't understand what kind of obstruction and, 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 and preventing uh, development that the PDP were talking about. But you know what? The PDP came here to knuckle, to send a signal that they can destroy Afro-Guyanese villages.